Okay, just started this painting. Um, I am using pictures on my phone as references, so I'm not going to like be doing time lapse or anything for the major chunks, but I figured I would just film some in progress stuff and because after a couple hours I went through like layers and layers trying to find what it is that I was trying to paint and I think I'm getting closer now. Um, just started on the face and yeah, I'm gonna keep working. Okay, we are making some more progress. The finished product. Must be the season of the boomies. Uh. Take a bite. Gets? Mm -hmm. Let me do that again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just feel so shitty right now. Um, I have like the worst cramps ever. I started my period last night at like 10.30 at work. And um, I literally feel like I want to die. And I, or not that I want to, that I'm going to, because it's just like so intense. And I um, have to go into work now. So that sucks. I did my makeup to try to make myself like feel better. And um, I took some medicine that's not kicking in. So that really sucks. And I hope that I can finish my shift. Um, yeah, my periods have been really intense the past few months since I've been trying to get off birth control they've been like all over the place so yeah I'm just feeling really uncomfortable and moody and um yeah you just know what it feels like a knife like stabbing you in your uterus and like going up and down that's that's how it feels but I'm gonna go get a matcha before going into work and hopefully that helps a little and um i'll probably try to read some of my book if i can't focus then i'll just scroll on the internet so that i can distract myself literally periods are the worst they're the worst they're the absolute worst also it's a big day today at work and I just feel like it's gonna be so busy and um, yeah, I don't know. I'm complaining a lot and I feel bad, but I just, I'm in pain. So yeah, okay, this is real, this is me. My period did get to feel better and then the next day, this is what I filmed. I had book club with my friends and then the day after, we had a little girls' day, hung out with Bailey, Janie, and Amber, and we went to, like, a bunch of different shops, and we went book shopping. Okay, which one should I get? Out of the old tiny romances. You can get the back. Wait, let me see that. This one is, like, I haven't all stopped and <laughs> <laughs> I had the day off randomly. I like never have Saturdays off, so I wanted to do something fun. So um, last night I had my book club and I filmed a little bit of that. I was hanging out with Bailey, Janie, um, and a couple other of my friends. We were doing like a little book club at Bailey's place and we had some yummy food that Bailey made and Amber brought some yummy vegan treats too. And that was fun. Um, our book club for the month of October, the book that we chose for our book club was Crying in H Words, so it was cool to talk about that because honestly I think that that was my favorite book I've read in 2022 so far. Like, no other book I've read, I've afterwards I've been like, oh my god, like, that, I need a minute, like, that was 
insane and so good and I just loved her writing and um yeah but so then today I had the day off Saturday and um Bailey Janie and Amber were all going to hang out and go to the bookstore so I asked if I could join because I usually don't have Saturdays off and they were like yes so then I went with them we got coffee we um went to the bookstore we went to a couple other cute stores and then um, I just got home. It's like about five o'clock and I read for a little bit and then I made dinner and I'm about to go for a walk, but I just wanted to show you guys um, the books that I got. I got three books today. I got The Martian Chronicles by Ray Bradbury because I was reading o October Country by Ray Bradbury. I just finished that today, finally. like. Uh, I hated that book. I thought it was so slow. All of the stories, didn't find a single one I liked. Um, two, if that, of the stories were, um, I think it was actually just one story out of, I don't know, like 30 or something stories, like there were so many, was written from a POV of a woman and every other story, the woman was like, evil in the story or just stupid or unsupportive of the male lead character and I'm just like and it was supposed to be spooky and none of them were that spooky like the only short story that I liked I wish I could remember the name of it but it was about this young boy whose mom has him like trapped in this house or something and he can't open any of the doors unless she she allows him to each birthday and then um she like dresses up as his teacher and like he literally knows nobody but her and then like he escapes the house after his mom's like drunk or something and on the floor and he's like oh i gotta go get help i gotta like get out of here and then um he's basically just like insane walking on the streets I really loved, liked that story and I would have liked to see a longer version of it, like more developed, but other than that, I hated everything else part of that book and it was 300 pages long, so it was a lot to get through. And so I gave that book a one star, which I don't even know if I've given a book a one star so far this year, one that I finished, but I really wanted to finish that one because it was short stories, so I kept like giving it another chance. I'm like, okay, maybe this one will get better. It was just like okay the whole time and I didn't like any of the characters but yeah so I was reading that at a coffee shop the other day and then someone came up to me and told me that they hated that book too but the one book that they loved from my Bradbury was the Martian Chronicles and when we went to the bookstore it's like a secondhand bookstore but like they're in such good condition it's insane so I found this copy for $4.50, so I figured I'd pick it up and read it because the guy was like, it's so good, it's my favorite. So I was like, okay. And then um, Janie also, my friend that I went with, got this book. Um, she got the hardcover copy. It was $6, and this just seemed like a nice, easy, feel-good read. It's about... Um, Let's see. Felix is this main character who is black, queer, and transgender. And he's just trying to, like, get his own happy, ever, happily ever after life. And just dealing with, like, different things in his life. Um, mostly about being queer and trans and identity, that kind of stuff. And love. And I love I'm obsessed I'm really excited to read this I think it was in the YA section so it'll be a pretty easy read and I think it'll be a good feel good one so yeah I'm excited about that I'm also excited Janie got it so we could talk about it together and then oh y'all know the 12 dates of Christmas I am obsessed with uh wintry love stories like Honestly, I think it's my favorite kind of genre. The winter time is the time where I just like want to consume romance. I also love Written in the Stars. I don't know. It's somewhere on my shelf, but I literally read that one like every winter. It's like a queer um, lesbian romance book. Um, 
but yeah I'm just obsessed with romance and the snow and the holidays love stories so when I saw this I freaked out and I got this for eight dollars it's by Jenny Bayless so we'll see if that one's good I'm excited I'll probably read that one in December um but yeah I finished October Country by Ray Bradbury and I'm still trying to finish Wuthering Heights I just am not a fan of the writing style or like the language I know it's like a pretty old book and that's probably why and sometimes I can get behind that but I'm just like so confused about what's happening in the story and it's frustrating because I don't know what's happening and I'm like am I stupid like what's going on but then for the rest of this month we chose for the month of De November our book club book is going to be The Vanishing Half which I have but I haven't read yet so I'm gonna read that one and then I'm probably gonna read um, Felix Ever After and The Martian Chronicles and then also there was one other book that I really wanted to read. But I'm just gonna try to not buy any more books this month and um, just read what's on my shelf. But I know those ones for sure I wanna read and I wanna save the 12 dates of Christmas for December. And y'all, that's what's happening. I'm gonna go for a walk before it gets dark. I think tomorrow is daylight savings time. So I'm like kind of um, nervous for how that's gonna be. Like it's gonna get dark at like 5 p.m. 4 p.m. um so that's gonna be annoying but yeah figured I'd go on a quick walk and enjoy the sunlight while I can and I really want to pick up some sparkling water on my way home and oh I have to vote go vote I have to go through my stuff and tomorrow I'll probably turn in my ballot but yeah that's what's happening I'm probably gonna end the vlog here it was fun hanging out with you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!